Yo, what's happening? It's your man Valentine, baby. Coming from on the grind, we're on location at Universal Music. Sitting down with the fabulous, the lovely Miss Julie Black. Hi. How you doing, baby? I'm fantastic. How are you? I was listening to the album, and I'm thinking, does every every song that you write, does it have like a, uh, a story behind it? Oh, absolutely. And it may not be even my own personal story, but um, like, for example, the single Running. Running was written around uh, the Obama campaign when that was going on. We're here in Canada, okay. basically as spectators, yeah. not able to even participate really. But it was like I I realized that there's a need of us. There was there was a need for a song out there that was empowering, though not over righteous, but just totally honest. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, could, could Canada have a, a black prime minister and a female prime minister? And if so. What would my campaign song be? So, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yes, I hear you. Yeah. Now the album's called The Black Book. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, before I even looked at it or read it or even listened to it, I wrote down this question. I said, "The Black Book represents which chapter in your life that you want to open or close?" Mm, good question. Good question. I would say The Black Book represents a chapter of total honesty and confidence that I'm ready to keep open mm -hmm. and never let close. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I like that. Now, I know you're Jamaican. Uh-huh. And a descendant of course, a but I am. Descendant of Jamaican. Yeah, of course. Now, back in the day they had the show in Living Color with the Jamaicans with mm. 12 I have to a man, I'm yes, a man. Yes. I have 20 we jobs. Know, being on the grind. Mhm. Mm I mean, what were you doing before? I mean, all this. All this happened. Oh, honey. Future shop. Talk. Well, I was in school. I got a, uh, I graduated from college with a um, law enforcement degree. And I was going, so I did all that. I was going to go do cr criminology, and I lost my second love. So put that out there. Okay. Um, Royal Bank. Um, payroll. Reference library. You name it. I was on the grind. Man, you know you were. Parks and recreation. Worked with the kids. Worked with troubled kids. Did all the teen mentoring. You know, which I still do today. I really enjoy that, that mm -hmm. being able to do it on my own terms, my own hours. So, chop me to grind up the place. That's a lot of things. Sorry, though. translation. I was on the grind. <laughs> <laughs> Every record represents where I'm at at that time. Mm -hmm. I think too often as musicians and writers, we tend to, um, we have a tendency to see what's going on and what's hot and try and, you know, assimilate. And it's like, we barely listened to radio right in this record. Yeah. We really took it back to the back into the we, we we got our team together and said, you know what? How would Quincy and Michael and Rod Temperton do it? You know what I mean? When we we if you examine the relationship between even Timberland and the late Aaliyah, there was yes, a cohesiveness, yes. right? You mm -hmm, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um and the and the list goes on. The list yeah. really goes on. Even if you look at some of the Doctor Dre stuff with his camp and you realize that there was a thread because there was a production team. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to keep it fresh and new and dope and hot because we kept our team together and we weren't looking to see what other camps were doing. Every song comes from a place of feeling. We have this thing we say, if it doesn't give you chills, it's not in the will. Right. And um, often a song isn't written all at once. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's just a verse. Sometimes it's so, it, it gets you so emotional yeah. that it's like, you know, let me let this sit for a second. Okay. And go to the chorus. So, you know, there's it, there's no one way really, but we know we it's all about the feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, your mom has been like the mom and dad for you for you and your entire life. Yeah, up until last week. Up until when you actually decide to actually go and locate your dad or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what made you decide to do that? Um, I realized the power of forgiveness, and uh, sit. I watched this Jay Z interview. Uh, when he was on Oprah. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it's something that I didn't even know already. Most things, most lessons that we learn, we already know the answer. We just yeah. are stubborn or wherever we're at in our lives. And he said to Oprah, I'm paraphrasing, but basically he couldn't forge any real quality relationships. Um, not even just talking about romantically, business, etc. until mm -hmm. he forgave his father. And it hit me like a ton of bricks, Valentine, like a ton of bricks. Yeah, man. Because I'm like, don't block your blessing, man. The power mm -hmm. of forgiveness. My dad's always been around. I could call him. I could drive and see him. He's never been somewhere I couldn't find him. Yeah. You know, but my mom's been the one. Yes, she was the mom and dad. And I was. I felt the need to protect her, even though she didn't ask me to. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to two weeks ago, 
and uh, actually I'm lying. Halloween, I sat did the Jay Z interview for E Talk, and we just had a moment. And I I thanked him. I said, you know what? We know you make a lot of money. You sell a lot of records. You sell a lot of clothing. But for me, it was the message of forgiveness. That's my jigger moment. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh my gosh, you're giving me chills. What makes me strong is um my faith, for sure. Okay. My uh my family, my community, mm -hmm. but ultimately just the belief that um. There's, a, there's only one Julie, brethren. Yes, <laughs> I feel you. There's only one Valentine. There's only one Julie. If you realize God broke the mold after he made you, we wouldn't aspire to be like other people. I think we tend to give away our strengths mm -hmm. because we're searching, you know? Yeah. And so what I realized, my, there's a strength in me being confident in who I am, in my curves, in the space of my teeth, in the flare of my nose, in the you know, my bone structure in being my uniqueness. That's my strength, that's me. Yeah. yeah. One of the biggest challenges uh, coming up in the Canadian music industry has been um, breaking the barrier of sound, meaning not having my music be defined just mm -hmm. by my race, knowing that good music is good music and having to be on that campaign of, okay, Julie, you don't need to compromise. Keep doing you, keep growing, keep evolving, and the people will come. Right. So convincing myself if you build it they will come mm -hmm. keep building it they will come right. you got a new single or release coming out it's out. Is it coming out november 23rd so yeah. it's already out it's already out it came out this week it? you can get it everywhere you can get it on itunes best buy walmart you name it everywhere okay yeah myspace oh i do have myspace of course everything let me tell you people i'm gonna speak directly to you right now it's easy to find miss julie okay as long as you spell it right it's like jelly with a u j-u-l-l-y the MySpace is MySpace slash Julie Black. The Twitter, Twitter slash Julie Black. The website, Julie Black. Very easy. Follow well, me on Twitter to follow my booty. We're going to have to follow you on Twitter because right? you can follow on the ground on Twitter. I will, I will. We want to know, say there's another Julie Black out there. Mm -hmm. What can you tell her or say him mm -hmm. to inspire him to be motivated, keep on going, to be on the grind mm -hmm. and not give up the grind? Well, I would tell he or she that um, you're you. You're not even another Julie Black. Mm -hmm. You need to aspire to be beyond anything that I have done. Because like magic to Kobe to LeBron, there's always going to be the next generation needs to aspire to do better. Mm -hmm. You'll always have a successor. But as long as you stay on your road, it will happen for you. I just want to thank, thank the world. I want to thank you guys for taking your time. I think the most valuable thing you could offer somebody is their time. So thank you for the moment. It's your man, Valentine. We're on location, sitting with the beautiful Julie Black. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man, Valentine. Julie Black, Black Book. Go out and cop the album, y'all. Cop a dozen million. You feel me?